Okay, so we had an exterminator out at the house today and he said uh, the most important thing to get done right now is clearing the crap away from the house to help solve our infestations. <laughs> we have rodents, cockroaches, some fleas of course because that's what happens when you have grass, scorpions, snakes. We also have a resident skunk. Yes, so that's got to be taken care of. What else? Termites. There's no sign of that, but we don't want to encourage that kind of behavior. Now we don't have any sign of active termites. This house had some termites in the past. It's been treated for termites, but we need to keep up on the termite treatment. And so all the old wood is just falling apart. So a little break on the barn work right now so we can get some of this garden stuff cleared up. Okay. So this is one of the little flower beds that the gal had and she grew some rosemary in there and you know a bunch of herbs and stuff and it's you know, had some cute pots and things but even the pots are all broken. Um, there's just debris. And this is just a total attraction for all kinds of nasties. Also, this is a common thing you see in the south and um, there's a rain barrel and it's open on the top and that allows rainwater to go in. But it also allows all kinds of other things to go in and it's a source of water for uh, bad things. Termites like water, mice like water, raccoons, skunks like water. So gotta get rid of that so we have all this kind of miscellaneous crap all along the edge of the house all of this has got to go and it's got to go right along now along the house we have the previous owner had used a bunch of different wood products shoved up against the house to try to keep the animals from digging under the problem is they like the wood now there's no active termites right now but it's just a big, huge uh, buffet for those guys. So we got to clean this up right away. Besides the holes in the wall, we also have this pipe that you can see is only three feet from the wall. It's the washing machine, clothes washer um, drain. Only it's only three feet away. It should really be like 10 at least or 20 feet away and underground. So this leaves standing water, which is another source of water for all of the nasties that are trying to get in our house. So found this beside the house. Clearly something crawled up to our house and died a long time ago. Oh, what is it? I don't know. It looks like the pelvis of something big. Whoa. Good night. <laughs> what could be that big? Well, it's not like a cow or anything, but... No, but it's at least raccoon or coyote size. No, I don't know about that. I was thinking, I don't know. I don't know bones. Yikes! <laughs> now look, <laughs> more of bones. What, what is it? What part? What uh, is that? I think it's either a mule or horse that looks like a horse jaw. But I could be wrong, I don't know. What is the other thing? That's... It's like vertebrae. Yep. That's huge. What the? What was she fertilizing her plants with? <laughs> so we're clearing away the lattice work, all this lovely lattice work, trying to get as much wood away from the house as possible. For one, it looks dated and it's ugly. And it's also will keep the pests away. We're gonna try and clear as much away from the house as possible. All these bushes, this whole garden's gonna go and just try and make it look cleaner and nicer as best we can. Look at all what Mark has gotten accomplished already. We got so much of the wood down and the grates or the lattice, all the lattices down. All of the clay pots are out. He's even got all of the wildlife bone fragments out of the yard. So, you know, that's a plus.
Here's our progress so far. A lot of crap in there. We got a lot further to go. Ready? Yeah. Look at all those bones. So gross. scorpion this morning and now I saw a little garter snake not poisonous just a little guy but he ran away so I guess they snakes don't really run right slithered I think we're down to like the roundup for and what we need a shovel for So the Terminix guy was out yesterday and sprayed around the house for all kinds of creepy crawlies. Also put some rat traps under the house. Yay, maybe we'll catch some varmints under there. And um, also put down some termite traps. So we have several traps. This is just two of them but they go all the way around the house. There's one of these down in the ground, level with the ground, so you can mow right over the top. In the garden, anywhere um, close to the house. So they're about eight to 10 feet from the house and about 10 to 12 feet apart from each other. They keep that there for a year. Then termites draw them away from the house and not have to tent the house and move out for a month or whatever. So this all stays in the ground and around the house. Okay, and this side of the house, we got a little bit cleaned up and um, you may remember there was all kinds of stacked garbage in this area. We've got that all pulled out and we've even started taking down the shed that we started doing today, but that'll be a future video. So keep your eyes peeled for that because that was a lot of fun demolishing this. Guy. Also made some great progress on this side of the house. All those junky pieces of wood have been picked up. We've raked away from the edge. We still have a little bit to go in this corner, but uh, it looks a hundred percent better. And you know what? I think we're making progress. Well, as you can see, we have made some really good progress around the house. A little time has gone by, but we put down some Roundup, cleaned up all the vegetation. And the rain barrel, you can see that is gone. And then over here, of course, this was all that really green vegetation. And where we keep finding bones, we keep finding bones. They keep coming up under the surface. But now this is pretty well cleared out. We're going to clean this up, dig it out just a little bit, and then fill this with gravel. And then our plan is this whole section from there 
to the front door or the kitchen door is going to get a deck a uh, level with that deck and then a little pergola right up there uh, so we have a little place to sit and that way we can sit and have coffee and check out this gorgeous view in the afternoons when it's so beautiful on this side of the house thanks for joining us at strong's little farmhouse we're finally moving out of the pest control phase of living here and starting to actually do some projects on the house. So thanks for sticking with us for this long. And I hope you join us again because next time we are actually going to do a DIY project and we're going to start working on the shed. We're going to start working on the house and it's going to get so exciting. So I hope you join us, like and subscribe, share it with your friends and just come along for the ride. We love having you here.